Car batteries may die, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for the components. These lead-acid batteries are routinely recycled. This keeps toxic materials out of landfills, and it means we get a lot more mileage out of those old car batteries. This battery may be toast, but it's not trash, because dead car batteries are jump-starting a major recycling industry. Pallets of old batteries are tipped onto a conveyor. It takes them up into an enclosed machine that has over 30 rotating hammers. They smash the old batteries to bits, and then a screen filters out the lead-acid paste. The broken bits of lead and plastic tumble into a big vat of water. The lead and other metals sink, while the lighter plastic pieces float to the surface. This system allows them to sort and separate the battery components. The plastic pieces have been cleaned, and a machine now blows them into the back of a truck. They'll be taken to a plastic recycling plant and turned into pellets that will eventually be used in the production of new car batteries. A worm screw now moves the lead and other metals to another part of the plant to await further processing. Remember that lead acid paste screened out of the smashed up batteries earlier? The acid has been neutralized and turned into water. This press squeezes the water out so all that remains is a lead paste. They remove it and add it to the pile of lead and other metals. The water from the deacidification process contains some metallic residues, so they treat it with chemicals that cause the contaminants to precipitate and then settle into a sludge on the bottom of the tanks. They sample the water to make sure the particles are settling properly. They pump out the sludge and then filter the water, which now meets regulatory standards and can be poured down the drain. The sludge goes into that big pile of lead and other metals. They add a few shovels full of refined coal to the pile as a processing aid. Then the battery solids head up a conveyor into a revolving dryer. The metals spend 20 minutes in here to remove any excess moisture. Then it's into a furnace for 10 hours. The lead melts into a liquid and the other metals float to the surface, allowing them to be skimmed off. The molten lead goes into a big steel kettle, where it's mixed with caustic soda. This causes some remaining contaminants to float to the surface, so they can be removed. The liquid lead is now fairly pure, so it's time to pour. They pump the lead into bar-shaped molds and skim off any lingering impurities. Below, a constant spray of ice-cold water chills the molds, and the lead hardens into bars in just four minutes. The conveyor winds downward, and the bars are tapped free of their molds. There's enough lead in one of these bars to make three car batteries. They'll be remelted and molded into battery components. And the final product is as good as new, proving that recycling can get new life out of that old car battery and in the process, give a boost to pollution prevention efforts.